this shows uh, a variety of the things that I, uh, I carry at different times um, in different combinations with this bag. Uh, this has got uh, Molly 2 attachment points on uh, on all four sides so you can uh, you can build onto the side of the bag um, as much as uh, as much as you need to uh, this is all um, Molly 2 this one right here is a Maxpedition uh, brand name uh, bag but the rest of it is all uh, um, US Army Molly 2 uh, different pouches and attachments and accessories for that backpack system the main reason that I uh, that I have the, the bag along is to carry a water supply um, I work for two different farmers and um, the way the two operate are is completely different one guy um, he has storage bins on the farm so uh, the crop comes out of the field and goes into the storage bins and um, he brings a travel trailer along so um, we've got running water we've got a stove uh, we've got an air-conditioned space um, uh, there's food in the refrigerator and uh, there's f food cold water uh, sodas snacks everything is available right there uh, right there in the trailer and we're only working uh, we're working the farm all the way around the building site so uh, as the grain comes out of the field it goes directly into the bin so I'm I'm back and forth um, uh, about every half hour so I don't need to carry um, an enormous amount of water with me when I'm working for him so the uh, the smaller bottle this is the uh, 32 ounce um, you can you can probably tell looking at the logo where uh, uh, where I purchased it, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna advertise him advertise for him. I'm just gonna say that this is a quality pro, quality product, and I'm uh, I think I got it at a fair price. Also got this this one there. This is a 40 ounce bottle, and this is a 40 ounce bottle. Um, all three of the bottles will fit inside this pouch, and. Uh, uh, it's padded and insulated, so um, it'll hold. It'll help hold the te uh, the temperature of the bottle for um, for a, a long, a long while while you're working out there. So, losing my train of thought. Um, reasons that I'm reasons that I carry the bag. Um, these are different things that are that are with me at different times for different purposes. I'm there's always I'm always scaring up wildlife out of the field, so I have a pair of binoculars with me. Um, there's farms and fields that I that I work uh, clear down south, and then down by the river where um, my phone is my usually my my main. Uh, timepiece but um, this is the one of the best watches I've ever I've ever had so it clips it clips right on the side of the bag and it's and it's always with me I got a uh, blast match ferro rod little multi-tool uh, neck knife um, anemometer flashlight and then the gizmo I made, um, gizmo I made to uh, uh, support a bottle over the t over the top of a flame, or to use it as a hot pad holder. 
all of these all of these things here in front um, either go into into the smaller side pouches or they go into um, uh, they this goes onto the onto the strap that I showed in the in the last video. Um, the neck knife has got a, uh, a belt loop that'll fit that fits that that strap exactly. That goes that goes right above the, the that goes right above the light. <clears throat> when the when the bag is over my shoulder, I can I can open the sheath, turn on the light. And it'll um, the lamp will be pointed straight ahead wherever I'm walking. I tuck tuck the the flap back behind it, and uh, it's out of the way. I need an uh, anemometer. Um, at certain wind speeds, the um, the wind will come over the top of a wagon, and it'll uh, it'll unload. Um, A lot of grain. The wind will just just take that grain out of the wagon and put it on the ground, and it'll uh, it'll happen so fast that um, uh, you won't know what hit you. Uh, when, uh, when we're spraying chemicals, there's uh, there's state and federal laws that say at certain uh, wind speeds you have to stop spraying so that you don't get drifting. Uh, besides, after a, when it's when it's really windy. Um, you don't know exactly where the where the chemicals going so it doesn't pay you to spray it anyway because you don't know what kind of coverage that you're going to be getting <coughs> excuse me this is just uh extra things these are on my head um, the entire time I'm on the tractor they're uh, they run off AA batteries. It's got an AM, FM radio, and um, the port right here. I can plug in an MP3 player or a walkie-talkie, or um, um, basically anything that'll that'll use a three millimeter uh, jack. Um, this is the. F Fifth pair that I've had. The first ones were uh, first ones were like uh, like they were chipped out of stone. The dinosaurs and cavemen were using them compared to these. Every every year, um, the sound protection gets better. Um, they put better speakers on the inside. Uh, they put better receivers and and better controls. Um, my uh, my first one. Had had one button to push. You had to push, hold it in. It'll it would you would hear it click, and you it would be on. Then you had to sit there and play with it, and it was there was one button to go from AM to FM to turn it on and turn it off. And then the the other the other knob there was a big big knob up here to adjust adjust the radio station and then your volume. So you never knew whether you were on AM or FM. You don't know, didn't know whether you were out in the sticks, so this is just a lot better. Um, this is just a lot better, um, better system. There, um, it does take double um, A batteries. My flashlight takes triple um, A batteries. So in this bag here, I have spares. Um, I have spares in this first this first pouch, so that's a requirement. I uh, I really want to be able to hear when I'm 60 years old without the use of hearing aids. Uh, I bought this. I put it together, and I used a piece of aluminum flashing. To make a windscreen, and I put all this together because this aluminum flash flashing will wrap around this bottle, and then the bottle will go inside the cup. 
and I found out the hard way about uh, the reaction between uh, uh, dissimilar metals. It um, all of this corrosion that's on the inside. This was uh, this was new and shiny metal when I put it when I put it on there, and uh, it smells like battery acid and it's put a permanent etch on the side of this bottle and that's not a uh, that's not a defect of of the bottle in the cup that's that's my dumbness for using aluminum and, and putting it right next to um, stainless steel in the presence of water so uh, don't do that it's a bad idea I can clean I can clean this up with a Scotch Brite. It's not. Uh, it's not destroyed. It's just uh, the finish just isn't shiny anymore. But I caught it in time, so just don't do that yourself. Okay, we're gonna call this the end of this video, um, just so that these don't become long monsters that I have to try to upload.